Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to control the restart behavior of Azure Container Instances. See, the ease and speed of deploying containers in Azure Container Instances makes it a great fit for executing runs, tasks like image rendering or building and testing applications. With a configurable restart policy, we can specify that the containers are stopped when their processes have completed. Because container instances are built by the second, you are charged only for the compute resources used while the container is executing and the task is running. So what are container restart policies? So to start with, there is one policy which is called always. Okay, so containers in the container group are always restarted. This policy makes sense for long running tasks such as a web server. This is the default setting applied when no restart policy is specified at container creation. The second one is never. Containers in the container group are never restarted. The containers run one time only. And the third one is on failure. Containers in the container group are restarted only when the process executed in the container fails or terminates. The containers are run at least once. The policy works well for containers that run short-lived tasks. And to see the restart policy in action, we created a container instance. And you can so if you want to create a container instance while uh, with the restart policy, you can do this. So let me do this. So you see this. So I'm going to specify this. I'm creating a new container and here you I am specifying the restart policy, which says on failure, right? So I'll do this and I will open the port. Right. I'll pull up the port and I'll do CLS. Here, this it is not pasting. I'll have to okay. I'll pull up this again. See how it works. Okay, so I'm creating a container in the same resource group. I'm using uh, this easy word count image. And application would be stewards and the restart policy is on failure. I hit enter. The command is running. Okay, so this when this is created as your container instances would start the container and then stops it when it's when it's processed probably a script in this case exits. When is your container instance stops the container whose restart policy is never or as I mentioned on failure the container status is set to terminate it. So let me pause the video. Oh it's it's done okay. So I will do I'm gonna do easy container show command. Right I'm gonna check the current state it says terminated. Okay. And I can do the container logs as well. Here you go. So these are the logs, right? You see this. These are all terminated. All right. So I hope you liked this video. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day ahead.